Now let's do some problems with some numbers. Here's one. We have to determine the equilibrium constant of this reaction given equilibrium molar concentrations. I emphasize the word molar because the numbers we have to plug into the equilibrium constant must be molar concentrations and they must be concentrations that were determined at equilibrium. So we have a reaction with one reactant and two products. So let's first start off by writing the equilibrium constant for this reaction. K, fraction. Now we have the two products and the products go in the numerator. One is PCL3 and that is raised to the first power because there's a coefficient of one. It's not written but the implication is that the coefficient is one. And it's not necessary to write one in this equilibrium expression but I'm just doing this for emphasis. Multiplied by the molar concentration of the chloride raised to the first power also. And in the denominator we have PCL5. Also raised to the first power because of the coefficient of 1. Now in this case it really simply is a plug-in chug. As long as you're given equilibrium concentration values you plug them right in the equation and you're all set. So PCL3 is 1.3 times 10 to the minus 2 times, this is real important folks, you got to remember to multiply these numbers, times the concentration of Cl2, which is 3.9 times 10 to the minus 3. And we divide that by concentration of PCl5, which is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 5th. Minus fifth. All right, so take a moment and number crunch that, and we'll get the answer. And I get 1.21 or 1.2. So this appears to be a slightly product favored reaction where the reaction has set itself up, producing a bit more products than reactants. So let's try another one. Now we have a reaction in this problem. We have some coefficients other than one. So we're asked to determine the equilibrium constant for this reaction given this set of, for this set of um, equilibrium molar concentrations. Well first off it's always important to write the equilibrium constant for the chemical reaction that you are dealing with. So in the numerator it's SO3 squared divided by the molar concentration of SO2 squared times the molar concentration of oxygen gas. Now it's important we realize that the squareds come from the coefficient 2. Very important detail. So you plug these numbers in. I guess I'll do it off to the right. SO3 concentration is 4.13 times 10 to the minus 3 quantity squared and divide that by the SO2 concentration squared which is 3.77 times 10 to the minus 3 quantity squared and that's multiplied by 
the O2 concentration, which is 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3. 0 times 10 to the minus 3. And that is not squared because there isn't a 2 in front of the oxygen. So that's the setup and the plug-in. So take a minute and plug those numbers in and see what you come up with. And I come up with 279. Next, we'll try a variation on equilibrium constant problems. Now we'll look at the problem where we need to determine an equilibrium molar concentration given an equilibrium constant and other molar concentrations. In this kind of a problem, you'll be given the equilibrium constant in all but one equilibrium concentration value.